All right, let's go ahead and finish up our simulation of the parallel circuits for assignment A10 in preparation for week 11. So here's the drawing that we're going to be putting together in the Falstad circuit simulator. But before we do that, let's take a look at the circuit itself. So again, as a parallel circuit, we've got, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Again, we've got our power and ground coming in from the Uno uh, microcontroller. The red is red uh, wire is plugged into the 3.3 volts and goes over to the other side and provides 3.3 volts along that whole far side. Um, then each resistor comes down to one of the columns on the breadboard and then a second jumper wire goes from the other side of that resistor back to ground. So, And we have three of these set up in parallel, meaning uh, next to each other, of course. So let's see if we can simulate this and then have those measurements help inform us in the laboratory. So again, the circuit we're going to build is this one right here. Let's go back to our circuit simulator. Again, falstad.com slash circuit is the one that we want to do. And from this point, let's bring in the file that we had worked on previously. I'm going to open a file. I'm going to get the second version of this from where I saved it, open it up. And I did recognize we made one small error here. I would like to add a little bit of information. So I'm uh, going to make a copy of this. Bring it in here, double click it, and we forgot to label these resistors. So let's label this R1. Uh, control C and paste it. Come in here, label it R2. Of course, we went through this on the pre, we didn't do this on the previous one, but uh, now we can correct that here. And R3. That's how we took the measurements, but just to clarify that piece. All right, so this is the series circuit, and we checked the, the how these measurements were taken, the voltage divided across the three resistors, and then the same current was running throughout. So let's do the next step. I want to replicate this. I'm going to take all of these, copy it, and paste it, and let's move it around a little bit like this. We'll uh, edit the view and center the circuit. Now it's time to do a little rearranging here. Let's um, I'm gonna get rid of this GU login. No reason for that to be there twice. But let's take the resistor here and rearrange it. Here. Let's take the other resistor, rearrange it similarly, and delete this wire here and do the same thing with the last resistor. Okay, so we're gonna keep the voltmeters. I wanna have one that's gonna fit in oops, uh, right here. Okay, and we need to make some changes down here. We'll need to make connections to this point and we'll switch to a wire edit or draw a wire. I need a wire to this one, another wire to this one, and we'll put in the wires here. Actually, let's move them over here for a second. Let's hit the space bar, change the end of that. Um, hit the W to do some more wires similarly. So we'll put them here and they're not connected. They're just sitting there waiting. And I want to make some other points here. Again, let me change the configuration of this just a little bit. Let's move these spare wires off to the left. And because we do have contact points we want to add, hit wire again. Go there, there, there. All right, so what else do I want to? We're going to need some wires to fill these spots. Let's delete a few things here. Space bar. Let's delete these. This one. And take this one and put it there. Delete this one. Take that. 
And we are going to need two more things. Where's our uh, ammeter? We need to add another ammeter. So we'll draw outputs and labels, uh, another ammeter. And we'll keep it sitting here. And we'll have another ammeter. And we'll keep it sitting over here. All right, so these are ready to be used. Let's see, I believe I have everything there that we need to. I'm going to slide this one in here temporarily. All right, so now let's look at our data table. So we're going to add, again, one resistor and an R2 and R3. And so in parallel, we'll start taking measurements. We'll hook in one resistor and have it start working. And so we'll put close the circuit and we'll see that one start working. Um, there's two ways to measure current going through this circuit right now. So the first way is to put this ammeter right there. And the other one, so we'll set this one aside here and use the other ammeter in this location. All right, you'll notice that they are, um, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Zoom in just a little bit. There we go. And so both ammeters are reading the same thing, a single circuit, which is what we would expect. So let's take a look at the voltage and current on, this is our first parallel resistor, which happens to be the same as our serial resistor in this case when it's only one. And let's go ahead and collect that data. Over on the spreadsheet, on the parallel circuits tab, we'll take the data for voltage and current, and I maintained the same formulas from before, so let's take the voltage and current for the source from the, using the hover tool and voltage and current uh, from the metering tools. So power supply, hover over the power supply, voltage and current, 3.367 milliamps, 3.3 volts. 3.3 volts, 3.367 milliamps. Double check that. Yes. All right. So that's generating power or giving off power and let's go to the resistor so hover over the or click on the resistor we can see the current going through it it's the same let's take that voltmeter slide it in here grab the end and line it up 3.3 volts as well and this is to be expected but let's we're just double checking things 3.3 uh, and 3.367 all right so that's uh, one resistor Call it a parallel circuit, it's the same as the series circuit in general. But let's go back and set up the one with two resistors. So we'll um, close in this circuit. Now both resistors are getting uh, current. And in this, you can see that the current going through this resistor, R1, is 3.367 and the voltage across it is 3.3. So let's add that voltage across. Um, oops. Uh, let's do the power supply first, excuse me. Power supply, 3.3 volts, 6.735 milliamps. 3.3, 6.735. So now it's putting off more power. Let's do R1, check its measurements. Again, the voltage across R1 measured right here is 3.3, and the current going through it right here, 3.367. 3.367. Okay, and finally R2. Let's move our voltmeter over to measure here, and let's swap out our current meter here and restore the wire here. So um, our voltage still 3.3 and current 3.367. So each of them are drawing the same amount of current. 3.3, 3.367. 
Now, you'll, you will notice um, the current is twice as much coming from the power supply and it divides. If you hover over this wire, you'll see the current is 3.367. And then, of course, uh, hover over the other wire, you'll see it's divided in half. Because these resistors are equal, it's dividing it in two. All right, so let's take a look at the last bit of measurements. We'll need three resistors, so let's get that connected. I'm going to add this down here. We've got uh, uh, current flowing in the middle of 3.367. And if we go and measure again out at the end, 3.367, and restore the current here. So again, each leg is drawing 3.367 milliamps and the voltage across the each of the resistors 3.3 3.3 and hovering over here 3.3 now the power supply in this case 3.3 volts 10.102 milliamps so let's put that in 3.3 10.102 milliamps, 3.3 volts throughout, and the current on each one, 3.367. All right, so observations to make from this. Uh, virtually, we've got three times as much current passing through the first wire so 10.102, which is feeding the second batch. And here, if we hover over this wire, it's reading 6.735, which is twice the current provided here and here. So the current, in this case, is dividing. When it reaches a node, it divides and serves the resistors it's supposed to. But the voltage is consistent when they're in parallel. The voltage of the source is being applied to resistor 1, resistor 2, and resistor 3. So that's our basics. Um, again, being able to move the ammeters, disconnect the wire, move the ammeter to the right location, and connect the wires up in the other locations is exactly what you'll be doing in the laboratory. We'll provide a brief video on how to use the meter, how to set it up to measure current and voltage. Other than that, the last thing to do here is save this file. I'm going to uh, sorry, center this down. This file is just fine, so let's do a file, save as, click on the link to export it, save. I'm going to open that folder and bring it over here so we can look at it. And then finally, name it appropriately, team, team number and letter, A10 is the assignment, and your GU login, dash three. So this is the third version of this. Save it, and we'll move this over. All right, so that brings us to the end. Again, what we've done is we've set up a virtual configuration for the parallel circuit. Power comes in and supports three different resistors and returns to the ground. So that gets us to the end of this one. We'll prepare the other video and you'll be good to go.